everybody good evening and welcome back to amazing animal inks youtube channel today we're gonna do something fun the sun is setting um, it's a beautiful night here at the sanctuary so uh, kylie and i decided to pour a glass of wine and we want to introduce you to our first ever wine with wildlife i think this is gonna be my favorite one <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna go enjoy the animals, kind of relax with them, uh, let you guys meet some of them up close, learn a little bit about them, and just have a nice relaxing evening. It's just beautiful out here. Maybe some of our nocturnal animals will wake up so we can get a look at them and uh, enjoy a little bit of wine. Yeah, definitely. So uh, parents, grab your favorite glass of wine or, or beer or liquor, and kids, grab some Kool-Aid and uh, come check out some animals with us. Yeah. So we're in with our greater bush babies. They're a South African primate species that are nocturnal. They're really known for these great big bulgy eyes. The sun's starting to set, so they're gonna start getting more active, but they really come out at night and they hunt insects and small mammals and, and lizards and snakes. And they're a really cool species. And um, not a lot of people know them, not a lot of people see them. And people don't get to really see them on our tours because they're always underneath a blanket in their box. This is Rufio, hanging completely upside down. They love grapes. And uh, you know, that's what wine is made out of. So we're basically doing the same thing right now. But they enjoy their grapes and apples as Kiwi's doing over here. And a lot of people, you know, these guys have the big ears and big eyes because they're also nocturnal. But kinkajous are related to raccoons and quadamundi. Not bush babies, but a lot of people ask us that. They're related to one another because they do look alike. They're actually from different continents, but they're both nocturnal, so they have fa similar facial features. Oh, you ate that quick. There you go. You yummy grapes, huh, Kiwi? <laughs> and you can see their prehensile tail that they've got there. Helps them hang completely upside down. That's my last date, bud. You ate them all. Enjoy it. And Kiwi and Rufio are about to wake up for the night. So we thought we'd take you in the house to show you some of my pride and joy animals um, that aren't really part of the rescue, not part of the sanctuary, but part of my personal collection. Um, I'm going to show you some of my favorite lizards that I have. Okay. So these are my adult New Caledonian giant geckos or Lichianus geckos. They're from the island of Moro in New Caledonia. There's tons of islands right outside of Australia. And each island has its own endemic, large, giant gecko species. And they're nocturnal as well. You can see she's about to 
fly away from me here. <laughs> you can see by those big eyes with the slits in them that they see really well at night. And this is a breeding pair that I raised up um, and they are doing really well producing me some eggs and hopefully we'll add more giant geckos to zoos and, and facilities that do education because there's a lot um, of really cool information out there about these guys and not a lot of people have them. They were um, new to the reptile hobby. You know, they were just discovered, rediscovered um, about 30 years ago. We thought they were all gone. And then um, a couple of them got brought back to the United States and some breeding projects were commenced. And now they're in the pet trade, but um, they're for more experienced uh, reptile breeders because they're not the easiest lizards to have. And let me show you some of the eggs that they've produced. got four eggs so far this season from them. You can see how big they are. They're giant eggs. And hopefully we'll have babies in about 70 days. So we've got our uh, Willow the Bobcat behind us here and Kylie's gonna tell you some fun facts while I drink. <laughs> uh, well Bobcats are active during dusk and dawn is when they're most active and they've got a beautiful spotted fur coat to help them camouflage so they're excellent at hiding in all the trees tall brushes so a lot of people don't see bobcats but they're actually all over north america and believe it or not the biggest can get about 40 pounds and they can take down something as large as a deer for a meal now a lot of times they're going to be eating little rodents squirrels rabbits birds things like that but if they need a bigger meal they can definitely do it so they are a powerful impressive cat Nice. We shall move on. So this is Echo, and Echo is our emu, and emus are the largest bird found in Australia and the second largest bird found in the entire world. And you can see her little wings right here. She is a flightless bird, but she has two wings on each side and they're very small, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. She definitely wants my wine, but she can't have it. So, as you can see, Penelope is kind of like part of the family. Um, we often come in here with blankets and sit down with her and just snuggle and um, hang out. We'll have morning coffee or evening wine. Um, and she just kind of comes and hangs out with us. And um, she's just an awesome animal. We love her so much. Um, it's hard to not think of these guys as our pets, but you know, they really aren't our pets. We, um, we built this preserve to teach people about wildlife. And we, we have a firm understanding that these are wild animals. They're not our pets. Um, and uh, as much as we love them and care for them and would do anything for them, just like our dogs and cats inside the house, um, we realize that these are wild animals and they're not our pets. But that doesn't mean we can't spoil them rotten. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay talking to you. How are you? <laughs> so Penelope has been just super snuggly today, so I knew this would be a perfect place to end our night is to relax, enjoy wine with wildlife out here with Penelope and PJ. I should check out the camera. What did I put on your on your fur? <laughs> So thank you guys for tuning in to our vlog today. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. We just kind of uh, popped open a bottle or two of wine and um, drank, hung out with the animals, walked around, did a couple things. And um, yeah, this was kind of fun. Yeah, I love relaxing evening, just hanging out with the animals. Hopefully you guys had some fun meeting all of them as well. And I hope you all enjoyed a glass of wine or beverage with us. So yeah. thank you for tuning in. And yeah, go out there and do, do something, something amazing. amazing.